Time for your ABC 36 Storm Team forecast. After a nice weekend by late August standards, uh, we've carried that over to this Monday. Sunshine and, of course, lots of heat and that late summer heat. It's going to crank up even more for this final week of August. By mid to late week, we are looking at highs in the mid to upper 90s, some of the hottest air we've had since back in mid-July. But humidity levels, reasonable, and that's critical to keeping uh, those heat advisories and excessive heat warnings out of the area. A few scattered storms possible Friday and into game day on Saturday. Of course, it's an evening game, and the timing could be uh, pretty critical. Visible satellite. A few fair weather clouds earlier. You've got this uh, bank of uh, high level cloudiness just kind of drifting down uh, along the I-64 corridor. You see throughout the Ohio and Tennessee Valley a quiet day. Mount Sterling off in the distance you see some of those higher level clouds but it is doing nothing to uh, keep the heat away. 90 there in front of the Montgomery County Courthouse. Winds are light and then taking you down into Wayne County near Monticello along the Kentucky Tennessee border 89 there. So uh, we've seen uh, another hot day, most locations now into the upper 80s to low 90s. And our dew points, relatively speaking, for as hot as it is, not bad. Low to mid 60s, and that's keeping the humidity levels down a bit and keeping those heat index values in check. And even with some bigger heat on the way, that's where we're headed as we progress through the week. High pressure in control, really the core of the hottest air is out across the central plains. That's gonna nudge eastward over the next few days. This evening, definitely on the warm side, but as the sun goes down, that'll kind of take the edge off with the lack of humidity. We'll start things out upper 60s in the morning and then tomorrow afternoon, low 90s, maybe a few mid 90s here in the bluegrass. And I mentioned that uh, core of hot air being in the central plains, it is shifting eastward and it's going to be right overhead Wednesday into Thursday. Muggy cast, notice how we're noticeable to humid. We're not up here very humid and miserable. That's when we would get into some issues with heat advisories and the excessive heat warnings. Not expected. And look at Sunday at how we see things take a tumble. And there, there's a reason for that. More on that in a second. Expected high temperatures in red and the heat index values in pink over the next few days. Wednesday, Thursday, there'll be a few hours where we'll see those heat index values over 100. Nothing we haven't seen so far this summer, but you'll definitely want to hydrate and try to minimize your time outdoors. Now with this boundary dropping in on Wednesday, north of I-64, northeastern Kentucky as well, may see an isolated storm. Most of the area dry, our hottest day being Thursday, right underneath that big bubble of heat here. We're going to have near record highs. Close Wednesday could be right on it Thursday and make it awfully close again for the day on Friday. Now jumping ahead to Friday and the upcoming long holiday weekend, a few scattered storms may be around with all the heat. So the exact opposite from the nearly ideal conditions we had for Friday night football. There's Saturday afternoon. It's an evening game out of Kroger Field. At this point, a lot of the data wants to keep those storms down to the south. And then late Sunday into Monday, a dry reinforcing shot of milder air comes in with a secondary front. And look what's on the way early to mid next week, including Labor Day. So that's going to mean we're going to get a nice break from this heat fairly quickly. Mostly clear, mild tonight, 68 coming up tomorrow, 95 here in Lexington, I think low, maybe mid 90s elsewhere. A lot going on here in the seven day, of course, a lot of heat here in the short term uh, with those mid to upper 90s. We'll have to watch the storm chances for any impact on high school football Friday. Of course, game day Saturday, still some storms in the area. We begin September, I think, dry, and then that next front moves through. And at this point, the holiday a week from today looking really good on Labor Day with highs in the mid 80s.